For all you Amazon-only authors out there, don't worry. It's not too late to still go wide with your books. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm MK Williams. I'm an author and independent publisher. I love sharing all my insights about self-publishing with you. Before I get started on today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. That way you can be here every week as I release new videos on all things self-publishing and making a career out of being an author. So I've talked quite a bit in the past about why I decided to go wide with my self-publishing for my books and why I think you should too. I will link to all those videos up here. So for authors out there who are finding this channel and think, cool, okay, you've convinced me to go wide, but I'm already published as an Amazon only author. How do I fix that? Or maybe you've been str strictly on the KU train and you're realizing that your payout per pages read is going down. Amazon is deprioritizing books and you are looking to make sure your books are available elsewhere. You've put in the work. You want to make sure that they continue to survive past just the Amazon ecosystem. So the easy answer to the question of can you go wide after just publishing with Amazon is yes, you can absolutely do that. Um, and it's actually much easier to go wide after just publishing with Amazon than it is to be wide, take your book off of everywhere, and then try to go Amazon only. So there's definitely some considerations and I'm going to go over each of those. So the first consideration is that if you use one of the free Amazon ISBNs for your ebook or paperback, you will not be able to use that on other platforms. If you elect to post your ebook with another distributor or retailer, you will need to use a new ISBN. I would suggest that if you plan to go wide with multiple books, that you make an investment and purchase the pack of ISBNs from Bowker. Again, I have a video all about that. Um, and in the US, Bowker is the only service that can sell you ISBNs. Don't buy them from somebody else. That's a scam. Right. The second, the second thing to keep in mind is that the same is going to go for the paperback, right? So if you publish your paperback book through just KDP um, print and you use their ISBN, same thing, you're going to need another ISBN for when you release that on another platform. Now, technically, you can print another format of your paperback book with another print on demand service, but chances are that you already have it set in one size for a reason. So in this case, if you have a six by nine version of your paperback book on KDP, you could, you have that ISBN assigned for that size, right? So you would have to go to another print on demand distributor and have it as a different size so that it could be a different format for that paperback book. Book. Um, another thing you could do is release it as a second edition, which I, again, I have a video all about how to do a second edition if you are making material changes to the book and need a new ISBN within the same size. Chances are you already have the print interior formatted in the size that you would like, um, but many people who do KDP print, do so through Microsoft Word and the templates that Amazon provides, which is awesome that they provide these templates. They're very easy to use, but those templates are not always compatible with other systems. For example, if you decide that the print on demand distributor you want to go with wide for your book is Ingram Spark, guess what? You can't use PDFs that have been converted from Microsoft Word for Ingram Spark. They have to be built in a different service. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you've already formatted your paperback, not using that service, super easy. If you already have your own ISBNs, super easy. You don't have to worry about those considerations, but if you did use the Amazon ISBNs, just keep that in mind. Um, and going back to the video that I already made on when you need a new ISBN, if you have to get a new ISBN because you use the KDP one, um, you'll probably need to do this as a second edition. You can't add the same content with a different ISBN and just call it a day, add a letter from the author, add a preview chapter for another book. It needs to be different somehow to be a new edition and therefore needing that new ISBN. It's not just willy nilly new ISBN. Once the new edition is up, um, and publish the original ones, and that way you can submit a help desk ticket to KDP so that the two versions are linked over um, with your reviews. Again, I did do a video on this, and I have um, links below about information from KDP on this. Again, this is going wide. This isn't saying that you're not on Amazon anymore. It's saying that you want your books available off of the Amazon platform, and that means that you need to update the Amazon platform books and not take over a free ISBN you got from Amazon to another service provider. That's not going to work. It has to be your owned ISBN. So this is just how to update it within Amazon so you can do that. 
Okay, so our considerations regarding the ISBNs have been covered. There are some other Amazon-specific programs you will need to check on. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you are opted out of KDP Select or KU. This is probably why you were Amazon only. I can't really think of a reason why you would have been Amazon only if you weren't getting the benefit of that program. Um, So if you are in KDP Select or Kindle Unlimited, you will need to go in and opt out and keep an eye on the date when you will no longer be in the program. Remember that automatically renews you for every 90 days. So just because you go in today and opt out doesn't mean that you are out of that program today. It should tell you what day that that um, expiration is set. Each time you've re-upped, again, that 90 days reset. So you really want to make sure you're keeping track of that, you're paying attention, so you know what day you can go and add your book elsewhere. If you are in expanded distribution with Amazon, you need to deselect that and only be on standard distribution with them for your print books before adding it to IngramSpark or another distributor. So when when you add your paperback to IngramSpark or another print-on-demand distributor, they're going to try to push it to... Amazon and these other retailers. Now your Amazon listing will supersede the Ingram Spark listing on Amazon. So don't worry about that. But if you're in expanded distribution with Amazon, you can't be in the expanded distribution with Ingram Spark as well because now it's creating too many duplicates. So you need to have Amazon be Amazon only um, or literally just an Amazon listing and Ingram Spark is the expanded one. So that's something to keep in mind too. These are just some critical factors, but it is absolutely possible for you to go from being an Amazon only author to a wide author with your books available on multiple retailers. So I definitely would love to hear from any of you who've done this before, who are maybe going through this. What are some of the reasons that you're deciding to switch from Amazon only to being a wide self-published author? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys every week. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit subscribe below. That way YouTube knows that you're getting value from these videos that I'm putting out and they can get these videos in front of other authors like us. Now you can get back to writing your book.